Well, Stephen, for nearly three years, Renee Newell was in charge of compliance in the Wayne County Jail. But she says her life was destroyed in May after she blew the whistle on some of her bosses. On top of losing her job, Newell says her home was recently raided by her former employer. It was uh, seven or eight officers. They were bamming and kicking on the door. Renee uh, Newell says a team of Wayne County Sheriff's deputies and Detroit police officers raided her home on July 26th, terrifying her 28-year-old daughter who was home alone at the time. They rushed in here, you know, um, you know, rushed her into here and started telling her to get down, lay down, and you're going to jail. According to this search warrant, the deputies wanted Newell's computers, laptops, and hard drives. Newell says she was fired from her job as director of jail compliance after she blew the whistle on some alleged wrongdoing among a few of the top executives in the Wayne County Sheriff's Department. Sheriff's officials confirm they searched Newell's home because they have probable cause to believe that she sent an email that accuses Wayne County Executive Chief Eric Smith of a crime he didn't commit. Did you send that email? No, I did not. What were they really looking for? I believe that they were looking for any evidence that they might have or that I might have to support my whistleblower case. Newell's attorney just filed this whistleblower lawsuit. She's suing jail chief Jeriel Hurd and executive chief Eric Smith, alleging she was fired after she told top people in the sheriff's department that Hurd had improperly hired his niece. The lawsuit alleges that as soon as Hurd caught wind that concerns had been raised, Hurd immediately contacted Newell and told her that the person who contacted the top executives about his niece's hiring would be terminated. Newell also also says she sent this 15-page memo to the sheriff detailing the violations of rules by Heard and others. Two weeks later, she was fired. I've never been subjected to anything like this before in my entire life, and I've been a, a civil servant for 26 years. Under Sheriff Dan Fonis says the claims in the lawsuit are false. He also says no relatives of the jail chief have been hired. She abused her position. She was investigated. She lied during the investigation, and she was terminated for it. Under Sheriff Fonis says Newell violated jail safety protocol while her brother was an inmate inside the jail more than a year ago. Newell says she followed the rules while her brother was locked up, and she says it never became a problem until after she started exposing Heard's rule violations. The undersheriff also defends the search of Newell's home. We believed that criminal conduct was occurring and that criminal evidence would be found in her home. No charges have been filed against Renee Newell, and I did check with the Wayne County Prosecutor's Office. The alleged crimes cited in the search warrant include things like criminal slander. They were able to check back about 12 years in their records, and they've never charged anyone with that.